I'm so strong, I can pull and break the grip. But he steps his right leg up. When he does that, everything gets loose. And I can't pull it out. But he's also off balance. I straighten out the arms and I whip my left leg. And apply enough force to knock the guy down. Okay? If he bridges it all, then just take his back. If he tries to like, then just take his back. If he does the sit-up maneuver where guys try to turn over, yeah, they, they try to do this and they turn on top of you, then you put your knee in and then come get his head and then bring him onto his back. It's also very possible to fall into scissor chokes and then also just the simplest coming back on top and finishing with your top side kimura. Fuck, it was so crazy. <laughs> and that shit is nuts. Anyways, and that's just on an amateur level, you know? Imagine going with those guys that do a pro. Oh, I know. Fuck. The jitters, like. Pay per view. Oh my gosh. Oh, some of those things. All right, well, talking about little experiences, little <laughs> training. <laughs> okay. Are we gonna film? I'll tell tears, I'll take it over. <laughs> tell us about the rum shaker story, Brian. <laughs> no. Why they named you the rum shaker, please. Yes. Please. Oh. The, <laughs> when you used to fight when they called it no holds bar, right? Is that correct? Well, yeah, but the fight where I did, it wasn't a no holds bar fight. It was a pancreation fight. But pancreation back then was, it was open hand to the head, close fist to the body, knee the body, elbow the body, don't knee the head, and don't elbow the head. But you could kick the head. So, yeah, it was uh, just, that's what we did in California because MMA was illegal and you could only do like full MMA or back then NHB on Indian reservations. And if it was done off the Indian reservation, then it was totally just an illegal fight. So, which those happened too. So, and I have been to them before. Um, but uh, that particular one with the rum shaker was, it was just, you know, you get done with a fight, you knock a guy out in seven seconds and you do a little dance. Yeah. Show us the dance, Brian. Make a little love. Show us the dance, Brian. Show us the rum shaker, please, Brian. No, I, I can't do the rum shaker anymore. What did you knock him out with? Open palm strike, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Just right there. Right there. Talk to the hand. So he um, he threw like a kick, and I kind of backed up, and you know then I think he swung he swung like a right hook, and I just hit him with a simple jab jab in the face with my right hand and he ran right into it and hit the deck and then I gave him one good one while he was already out. He was posturing and I hit him one more time and the referee came in. So, you know, time you, to dance. And you gave that dance. Gave the dance yeah, on. I can't, I can't. You really, can't, you don't feel it right I, now? I, I just, I, I, I don't really remember, <laughs> but I think the, do the rum shaker, please. The rump, the rump shaker was something like like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's really sick, Brian. That's really, he's really sick. Man, that was pretty so, good. That was the rump shaker. Uh, I have not done the rump shaker dance for many, many years. That's probably been, it was probably. we're closing in on probably at least 15, 16, 17 years since I've done it, so. Anyway, I guess that's what we're gonna give him tonight. No, no, no. no, let's, no. Do a let's give him. A, let's Come give on. him a move. Let's give him a move. Can we borrow? Everybody's like, why did he have to go through that? Okay. Teach me grappling. What's up, everyone? Um, today I did. I dropped already a video today on just some Kimor stuff. I was working with one of our beginners, and someone made a comment about it, and I want to address this problem. When someone on the bottom does a Kimura, I'm gonna give you guys this this counter armbar. It's very popular. Um, back in the day, Conan Silveira and uh, Sakuraba. Okay, it's also Matt, more, more well-known, Matthews versus St. Pierre, first fight. So a guy on the bottom goes for a Kimura. When he goes for a Kimura and my legs are free, I move my right knee here, step around, fall back, and you have an arm bar. Boom. Okay? And because of that move, 
everyone thinks that this Kimura is dangerous when you don't have a guard. Like if I was in between his legs, of course, and with a half guard, he could hurt me. Boom. Or of course, full guard, he could hurt me. Boom. Okay, so when he's free, everyone feels like, you know, if it's behind my back, it's gonna work as well. You know, I'll flip over and he'll finish me in psychotrope. But, you know, they, they look at this and they go, this knee is gonna come here and then the swing step. I just need to get my left knee right here before his knee goes inside here. So Johnny, I don't know if you can. Yeah, he swings and he comes over here and his knee comes in and I get caught in an arm bar. See, he has the same thing that I have, okay? And then he can arm bar me. So let me talk about this position now. So go ahead, come up to your base. Okay, so I'm in half guard. Okay guys, I'm in knee shield, knee shield half guard. Okay, I'm, I'm controlling this arm right here. When I decide to go for the Kimura and I, and I sit up and I lock it, boom, I get it. He brings his hand inside. Now, sometimes your knee shield right here is in a good place. If you guys can see my, my knee, it's pointing at him. If this knee is in here good, you can really stiffen it up and when he tries to hold, I can pull it out, okay? Now, sure, if your knee is not there, he, you're not pulling it out. See that? So what I do is, see my left foot? I hip escape. So when I hip escape and I get my knee in there, I try to lock my legs. Can you see this, Mike? Okay. See, I could just push with my knee, but it may not be enough. I lock my legs and I squeeze. What that does is it keeps his right leg close to my, my butt, like his right knee is close to my butt, and now he tries to sprawl, he can't. And now I'm so strong, I can pull and break the grip. But he steps his right leg up. When he does that, everything gets loose, and I can't pull it out. But he's also off balance. So as I hip escape and I shrimp, and I'm still here, see, I'm starting to exit the half guard, I can't pull it out, but he's in this position. I straighten out the arms and I whip my left leg. And I'm applying a force to knock the guy down. When the guy tries to turn into me, it's very hard because of how I'm holding the arm. It's very hard. I've got my arms nice and locked, very straight. It's difficult. And then you guys will have options. Are you gonna put your hook in, you know, and then try to take the guys back? You know, something like this. Or is he going to do a sit-up and do a sit-up as he tries to come on top and then you put the knee inside. No, no, just do a oh, sit-up. You don't bridge. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no, just do a sit-up. Yeah, and you're gonna go leg over the head and do an arm bar, okay? If he bridges it all, then just take his back. If he tries to like, then just take his back. If he does the sit-up maneuver where guys try to turn over, yeah, they, they try to do this and they turn on top of you, then you put your knee in and then come get his head and then bring him onto his back. It's also very possible to fall into scissor chokes and then also just the simplest coming back on top and finishing with your top side Kimura. So, or double wrist lock for you catch wrestlers out there. Um, so guys, let's look at this. Does John have the opportunity to armbar me when I do this? Let's do it. So we're here. I have this position. Remember, I'm going to pry it out. So John steps his right leg up. He does that. He's here. He may even be thinking about the Kimura counters where he locks his hands and nice and easy, just posture and pull. See that? Like he might tap me or that will also make me let go. Go ahead, start to pull it out. And sometimes you make the guy let go when he locks and does that. So when I'm here though, when I exit the half guard, John's move is come around the head. I'll let you do it now. Go ahead, drop your right knee, moving close to me. Big step and spin. And right into the arm bar there. Right? So he, you notice from this angle, guys, he's got a ways to go. 
You know, it looks like I have a long way to go. He's got a long way to go too. Because look at my angle. When he tries to lean into me and tries to counter this, so I can't pull it out and he's leaning in, watch my movement, how quick and, and how he's off balance. Hip escape. Can he do it? Go to the armbar. All the weight is on your left knee. He can't. And even if he's strong enough to go to his knees, go to your knees. Even if he's strong enough to stay right here, guys, look. I can then go to my knees on my head, then hop up here and either take his back or go right into a new armbar Kimor scenario. And then as I go ahead, he's gonna roll because he's gonna get tapped. And then now when he's here, he comes up, boom, I'm locking the guy up, armbar city, and finish. So I wanna show you guys that it's not, it's not cut and dry. It's not like when we learn jujitsu techniques, we think like, oh man, the counter to this is that. The counter to a double leg is a sprawl. Well, in that case, nobody should be able to ever double leg you because you have a sprawl. But that's not true. There's always timing. Who's there first? Who has the best setups? Is the guy tired before you do it? All these things matter, okay? Uh, I just watched a match the other day that you guys could look up. Awesome match with uh, Wagner Hosha and Bill Cooper. And dude, Bill Cooper, when, when Wagner went for his Kimura, Bill Cooper hit a spin from the bottom, similar situation, but almost in reverse, and went right to the arm bar, and just almost re reversed it on him, and even Wagner said it was kind of close for a little bit. It was a little, you know, it was, it was a close enough move where he had to respect it. So guys, look, it's not like one, one move is gonna win every time. You guys gotta know both sides. And there was a time when this whole George St. Pierre, Matt Hughes arm bar, that Matt Hughes caught on GSP when they first fought, when that was like, oh man, that's the move. And then I think it was like 2005, I was training with a Machado guy named Ryan Gregg, and he showed me this Kamar spin. And when in 2005, when he showed me that, I think he went to Brazil, I don't know where he learned it, but that's the guy I learned it from originally. When Ryan Gregg showed it to me, I was like, my mind was blown because I thought that it, it couldn't happen. I thought that the top guy was gonna win all the time. So it really helps you evolve. You know, you, you learn, learn from others and um, you know, that's why we have all this. We have the YouTube channel. So now John, if you look at John right here, his knee's here. Go ahead, John, he goes for the Kimura. And now I keep my hand inside. I'm trying to, you know, I put my leg up because if this knee is down, John's gonna pry it out. There's no way I can stop him. The only way to stop him is to put this leg up, and now when he tries to pry it, I lean. And I'm pushing against his hip, for example, you know? And you see this balance, this, I'm off balance that way. So now when John releases the, the half guard and he hits the spin and he straightens the arms, I'm caught. You see that, guys? Boom, right into the back. He can put the hooks in. And then now look what, he still has this. This could be an arm bar, or he could loop it over my head and go to the choke. I mean, you got like great options here. It's a great attack. And it's not real clear that I'm just gonna arm bar him if, if, if I get out of half guard, okay? The old days of GSP St. Pierre are, are kind of gone. Um, when the guy's here, he's holding the Kimura. He's not gonna just sit here like a dummy. You know, I'm not saying my move doesn't work, my arm bar, it does. But I've got to have good timing. I've got to have the right moment. And if he's on point right here, he's prying it out. What does that cause me to do? It causes me to do this. He spins. It's like, I can't even turn right there, guys. Look. Now, look what I did. I'm trying to avoid the back. He still has a leg. He still has the Kimura. If he wants, he could let my head slide down and come on top. Then he'll be on top side Kimura. You know, if he wants to come up, boom, he's right there. And then he taps me right here. So. You're still, you're still in a great position, guys, and you should know this combination. It's huge, just about every time. So last time, guys, watch it, we'll try to do it quick. So I'm here in half guard, look, he's playing a little knee shield, he's monitoring this arm. He's not letting this arm go to the other side of his body so I can drop my hip like this. He's monitoring, he's got control of it. I can't really go anywhere. Get the angles over here, Mikey. 
Good. See, if I open my elbow, boom, he's pulling on that tricep right there, pushing the wrist. He'll wrap up that come on. Boom. Locks it up. I've got to respect it. I put my leg up. I'm trying to defend. Boom. He hits the spin on me. I try to adjust. Man, I just got flung around like nothing. This guy is so strong, you guys. He starts to choke me. Go. He's already starting to choke me. I'm trying to defend. Go. Didn't even need two hooks. Oh man, John, what are you doing? Are you on that John Jones stuff? No, no. Do we need to check your picos? No. No picograms. No here. picograms? No picograms. Guys, look at this. Those picograms. It's all about the picograms. picograms. We gotta get some t-shirts. Teach me grappling. It's all about the picograms. Make picograms great again. <laughs> Alright guys, teach me grappling. Click like, subscribe, share it with your friends, do all that good stuff. Hit the link down below at PayPal, Patreon, become a Patreon subscriber, contributor, and support this channel. And I'll be back, guys, with more. I'm listening to your questions, guys. I can't get to everything every single day, but I try my best. I'm trying to answer questions when I can. I know there's a lot of you I probably missed. There's just, I get too many messages, but I'm trying. Thank you guys so much for all you do. Tons of support for this channel, and it's growing every day. Thank you. We'll see you guys next time. Out. Thank you, John. You're welcome. It was good. Mikey, you did well, too. Now do the rum shaker. Go. Do the rum shaker. No. Oh, that's like a do the rum shaker. shaker. Do, the rum, do the rum shaker. Oh. Brian celebration. Yeah. I'll do it with clothes on. After, a, after open, palm, open palm jab. Ma Megan rum shaker? With the boots, Megan? No. Okay. Out.